All right, Jack. Stand by for fire of Four, okay. three, that's all you. Not yet. We're just going to wait for a minute. Four, three, there. two, one, fire. It's going. Okay. In the divine plan of redemption, this profound paradox unfolds. The righteous demands of the law, the debt owed to God by humanity wrecked by sin, required a sacrifice. A sacrifice both sinless and human. The hands that took the forbidden fruit, the eyes that beheld their nakedness, the hearts tainted by sin, these hands, these eyes, these hearts cried out for a savior. Okay. Born of a virgin, Jesus entered the world in humility, embracing the frailty of human form. He hungered, he thirsted, he felt pain. He walked among us, healing the sick and comforting the brokenhearted. And in the ultimate act of love, he bore the weight of our sins upon the cross, his human body enduring unimaginable agony. All the way to the grave, all the way to the tomb, all the way to the death that God promised ages ago would be the destination at the end of the path of sin. Here we go. As soon as we Christ see that, our humanity fully and finally, and yet our human grave could not hold him. Death could not keep him. After three days in the grave breath returned to his lungs. The blood vessels that had dried up in death were opened again as a rush of warm light flowed through his veins. I'm actually thinking about starting with his seven. His eyes opened. His feet hit the ground. And then it'll come to two. In Jesus, the Here we go. Stand by. God walked right ready, seven. Keys. Ready, seven. Dissolve. Seven's oh, live. Yeah. Woo! Coming to two, take. Come on. Coming to three, love it, take. Yeah, ready, four. Take. Six. Gonna drive it, ready, five, take. Woo! Six. Ready, seven, take. Come under the verse. 31. Keys. Take. I got a dad holding his kid on his shoulders and blocking the camera. Would I be a jerk to ask him to move? Oh. Um, no. No, wait. That's. No, no yeah, leave him be. I know who he is. Ready, two, ready, seven, take. It's all right. Ready, two. He won't be there the entire time. Take. Two is live. Coming to four, take. Ready, six, take. Coming to five, take. We're going to drive it. Ready, seven, take. Ready one, take. This colors are just soft. Six. Ready two, take. Ready four, take. It filled up in here quick. Did it? Oh Ready yeah. three, take. Three, you're live. Ready four, start pulling four, take. Nice, coming to two. Ready, two. Take. I'm gonna drive this. Ready, six. Take. Five. Seven. Take. Ready, one. Take.
All right, we're going to have a break coming up. Stand by for that, Danny, if you can zoom out midway and tilt up. Two. Coming to seven. Oh, seven. Going to four. Take. Going to six. Take. Three, take. Yes. Five slide. Two, ready, two, take. We're gonna break down, break down. Going to four. Dissolving to four. And fade to seven, ready, seven. I think people are in awe. I think so. Two slides. Robin leads the next song for you. Yeah, they're all just standing here like, whoa. Oh, nice. On four. Beautiful. 34. Just up into four. Four's live. Resolving to three. Beautiful. Love it. Pretty four. Nice move, Maggie. Four is live. Thank you. Seven. Take. Need five slides. Sing that again together. Excuse me. Get the hiccups. Ready one. Take. <laughs> Breathing so heavy, took in too much air. 34. Take. girl would pick up her phone and take a picture of the platform again that was yeah sweet shot what do you want take. that was a nice uh, movie you did roger before that yes uh, no. was that over there all right coming to seven dissolve Robin leading and Sam's on the bridge. Bridges. We're here to celebrate together today, church. Take he one is, is live. Prison. All our hope, all our trust in the risen King Jesus Christ. Let's worship him together. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength. My song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are ready to take. Six, take. Just give up my seat again for a short lady who needed somewhere to sit. So nice. Ready one, take. We knew that already. Ready four. Oh, stop. Take.
ready to take. Start your move for. Back to a verse, ready one, take. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by dark. We're gonna start building. Ready four. Take. Ready four. Take, yes. Ready two. Take. Ready one. Take. Ready three. Take. Is live. Ready four, take. Nice. Move ready three. Go from there and then tilt up to Robin. Ready three, take. Nice. Ready seven, take. Oh. What was that? I don't know. I, I would say don't fly over their head though, just stay on her face. Who knew I can do a rack focus on the fly like that? Yeah. <laughs> that was like my first one. <laughs> Ready really? to take. Thank yes. you. Yes. I've never rack focused before. All right. And if you want to go ahead and pan over to a like I got to do it again. <laughs> Don't jinx me. Ready, seven. Take. Coming to one. Take. Nice. Perfect. Love it. Yes. Two, take. Ooh, uh, restart that on three. Pretty four, take. Go ahead and start at three. Take. Pretty four, take. Yes, pretty seven, take. What's that? We could get used to having a 7 I know, right? Where is camera 7 at? Right next to camera 1. Oh, right, right next to 2, sorry. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Go back to Robin Ann. No guilt Perfect. Ready, one, dissolve. No fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry. Right, we have the greeting coming up by Robin. Five slides. Five slides. No Happy. Three seven. Seven slides. calls me home. by one for the greeting. Amen. Looking for her lower third. Ready one. Right there good. it is. Hi. Church, we are so happy to be celebrating Easter with you today. Would you turn to someone down. sitting Ready for the you? Welcome, welcome them here to Grace yep. Church. Ready seven, dissolve. Line. Thank you. Seven's live. All right. Ready for Jonathan and Mary on one and two. And ready to shade down one o'clock or both for two o'clock. Stand by one. Before you Dissolve. sit down, before huh. you sit down, don't sit down quite yet, please. Yeah, there are people third. standing who can't find seats. Could you squish? Bye. If there's room in your row, yeah. can you squish? So sorry, I know that's uncomfortable. Make friends with your neighbor. That's amazing that they Everybody have to squish. took a shower, everybody smells okay. Huh. Yeah, right. Thank Mary, you. And Mary bringing that down. Do it. That's okay. right, yeah. All right. You Lower third is down. 
Fill in those gaps. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just be a close family. Wow. wow. Oh my so goodness. Welcome. No mistakes this service. So no mistake. You came to celebrate Woo. Easter with us. Thanks, Roger. If you have wow. been grace for a long time, there's only 10 million people watching. We need a picture from that, that you're of that right? if some you're new some with way. Us, we're also really glad of the that room. you're here. If you're in the overflow, you can go ahead and load the lower really third. We're glad that you're here. If you're online, also. Thank you. Can this we ask if you're new to Grace? Grace would you do okay. us a favor? Would you go on our website and click on the "I'm New" button? That way, we can connect with you. Or if you can stop by the welcome desk before you leave the building, we have a gift bag that we would love to get to you before you go. Also, if you can join us next Sunday, we have something called Taste of Grace. It's after Hi. all three of our services. It's 30 Hi. minutes. You'll be in and out. And it's a chance to get to know some of our staff team. Mary and I will be there. We'd love to say hello and ask any questions to find so out how to get plugged Danny into Grace. So Danny will have Jonathan's um, and prayer after mention the refreshments, we're having refreshments. And right around the corner here is the fireside room. And those of you engaged in life, you can join us next week. We'd love to have you. And it's just a chance, if you're newer to Grace, to say, how do you get connected and plugged in in a church like this? And we want Grace Church to feel smaller for you and to say, you, can, you won't know everybody, but you'll be known by somebody. And, and we'd love for this to be a safe place for you to grow. So we're going to mention just a few things, but everything that we talk about and lots more, you can find on our website. I wonder if we could put up his lower third that. one There's a little before QR he code on your armrest. Mm. You can just shove that person's arm off Ooh, of it. Oh, that's a good idea, right? As soon as, as, soon as Mary we'll leaves. The website yeah. And everything yeah. that we talk about Even though we just had a lower so third of their names. There's so many ways to yeah. grow and to wow. connect here at Look Grace. At there are classes I have a good idea because he's the only one who, the only element that's on. Bible studies, recovery groups, support groups, so many things. What do you say, Jack? Here's the thing. If you go to one of these, we'll throw up his lower think, third when when he's before he prays. People. You can leave. You don't have to <laughs> oh, stay. Yeah. And then you can try a new one yeah, until you find your right people and connect with your folks. But we don't have time. So, so many oh, ways okay. to grow in your relationship with God, to grow because he starts and connect his message right away. with people okay. here at Grace. Yeah, if you want to know pictures. anything mm -hmm. about any of those There's things, so talk to us, go to the welcome desk, go on our Must website, gracymay.org slash grow, and so many ways you can plug in. Next week, I'm launching a new series called I Doubt It. And we're going to be talking about some of the main challenges that are hurdles for people. I love the faith, emojis. Like, <laughs> I know, I do too. Can science and faith coexist? Their or faces. can you actually hmm. like interpret the Bible literally? Or how could Jesus say he was the only way? Or can I still Bothering believe me that there's a capital and have D, doubts but the I simultaneously? And I and we're going to be talking about some of those things. So invite a friend to join you. It emphasizes and, the doubt. And maybe you have a yeah. question you're like, I hope that Jonathan will address this one. Shoot us an email this week and say, hey, if you have a chance, would you talk about this one as well? And we'll deal with the ones that we can. We really want Grace to be a place, a safe place where people Listen, can Listen, I don't either, and I'm still a suspect of it. Questions. And I think this new series is going to be amazing. I like the preacher a lot, so I guess that's part of the reason. But I think it's going to be so good. And another place that's really good to ask those questions is something called Alpha. Mm -hmm. Our next Alpha course is starting on Tuesday God. evening, right, April so 9th. You want so his lower Tuesday, third next? And it's going to yeah. be this time at the okay. Middlebrook Heights Rec Center. You don't have to be a member there or here. Just for a whole Alpha. five seconds. Uh, and then there's yeah. an online option too. So those of you go right joining into us online can jump into that if you'd like. Uh, but what's Alpha like? You go once a week, you meet with your group, you watch a short video about faith and life, and then it's a judgment-free zone to discuss what you've heard. And if you are new to your faith, if you're in investigation mode, if you have doubts, Alpha is for you. You can find out more, again, on our website, gracymay.org slash alpha, or there's some people in the lobby. There's a big red alpha table there. They would love to meet you and answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, thanks for being here. I, I'd right. like to lead Ready us in a prayer third? and a right, close on our prayer. Lower third. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together, and if you need the words, they'll be on the screen. Uh, but just want to thank Jesus for being Isn't it great to be together at Easter? So glad out. to have you uh, okay. here uh, today. All right, I'll, I'll go to the sure. Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. That'd be great. It's I'm the left already. third again. We got it on Danny's. Spirit of God, would you come and fill wow. all of our? They already hearts. made an Instagram post. I pray that you fill me with pictures me from today. today. Wow. Lauren, we thank you that that's no Lauren. matter how I saw many that. people may be gathering all around the world today, that you see us individually and that you that's you awesome. know us by name. What a team we have! And Lord Jesus, we 
We want to trust you with our lives. You know every circumstance we're facing. You know the various pressure points for people who are here, those engaging online. And, and Lord, you invite us to come standing. with all of our cares wow. and to give them to you. And we oh, do man. that right now. Lord, I want to especially pray for those who have too. lost a loved one, maybe recently, maybe a long time ago, and the pain still We should have done overflow fresh. in the gym. Mm -hmm. And Easter is that reminder, again, of <coughs> what? the reality of death. But Lord, There's overflow also, in the venue? Get out. The reason for I wonder what Spanish service is doing that. There's, they have, the there's 500 chairs in the gym. There's 500 chairs in the gym. connected with you, so will we. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for what wow. you've done. All right. We trust in you today. Stand by. And we pray to our Father as you taught us. Invite you to pray with me, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy they name. The thy kingdom come. Just now. Thy will be done oh. on earth as it is in heaven. All right, stand by for give us this day our final daily four. And forgive yeah. us I'm going to leave this um, as we forgive those camera who live. So you can Thank just you put so that much. Up. Have a and lead us Easter. not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Thank you. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, you can go ahead and take Amen. that down. Hey, how many of you are visiting you from out of town? Can I see your hands? We'll just... All right, number of you. Welcome. Right, Glad I'm to have you. To I think you're from Canada, four. I think. Or, okay. Yep. And others of you online, so many of you there. Everyone eventually wants to come to Cleveland, Ohio. You know why? Can I, can I just tell you a couple of things? Let's, I, I was born and raised here because next week we have what happening here in Cleveland. Final Four, in fact, Kaylin Clark, this basketball prodigy, hopefully she'll be here. Then on Monday, opening day, hey, how about the undefeated tribe right now? Yeah, that's right. Right now. <laughs> yeah. The Guardians put out a, right. a tweet the other day that said, at this rate, we're going to go 162-0 with our new manager. And, uh, <laughs> and then next Monday, one of the top places to see what? To see the eclipse right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Bonkers. Right, they expect maybe more. half a million people are going to come right here to the north coast of our country. In fact, just a little hometown bragging here. Did you know that Cleveland is included on the Forbes magazine list of the top 50 places to visit in 2024. Do you know that? I'm not talking about 50 places in Ohio, in Ohio or the U.S. 50 places in the world to visit this year, Cleveland, Ohio, right? Hey, how about that? If you've been around for a while, some of you go, John's always playing right, away, bragging just, about Cleveland. Th that this. is not an April Fool's joke. That is the, you can check it out. And Cleveland, All because right, of the things I mentioned, and also because of the West Side third, Market, the, the Art Museum, third. and the orchestra, and says, because really of fine grasping people like you. It didn't say is. that, but I'm okay. adding that in there. Uh, they're saying that this is... Cleveland is the place... To, that's why people from all he around the world... He said when he was down here to put it at the butt. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> to come to Cleveland. All right. We have a big event happening next week. But can we talk about the most important event all right. in all of history he said, but. I know. that 2,000 years ago, this day that we still commemorate 2,000 years ago, there was something that occurred that altered the course of history, and it was this, that there was a man whose body was dead. We, 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 we saw it in the Fly video, right. that, that his, his blood had stopped pumping, right. his lungs so. were not moving right, and three days later he walks a out statement. of the tomb okay. and, and, and it changes the course of history I have a friend here uh, who's a scientist and he said if you could prove if anybody could prove to me that Jesus did not really well, come back from death I would quit being a Christian on the spot and he's absolutely right if Jesus really came back from death then what he did, who he is, what he taught, deserves our attention, right? It's hugely significant. And if he didn't come back from death, what we're doing today is really a joke. It, it, Jesus is simply a footnote in history. I believe the evidence is powerful. Uh, you have an empty tomb. There was never a body that could be a dead body that could be produced of Jesus. You had hundreds and hundreds of eyewitnesses, and today you have 
three billion people, some of the bright intellectual minds in all of history, who have said, I believe that he really came back from death and I've committed my life to him. You go, okay, if it happened, so what? What difference does Easter make? On the screen, you're going to see uh, three statements. I'm going to ask the question, and I would like all of you, including those of you online, third? those of you in the activity yeah. center and the overflow Can't put those place up. there, would you say the bold part in response? Okay, so I'll, I'll ask the question, and you say the response all together. You ready? What can you know for sure? Why? How far has he removed your sin? Friends, that is the gift of Easter, and it wouldn't so be possible if center? resurrection had seven. not really occurred. In fact, Don't Paul know. the Apostle, whose life was radically transformed, makes a statement in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Why? and he says this. He says in 15 verse 17, and if Christ Sorry, has not been raised, listen. then your and faith if I start talking, is I'll what? Lose my space, my spot. It's okay. And you are still what? guilty of your sins. Your faith is useless and you're still guilty. That's a hint at what yeah. the resurrection accomplished for us. So why did Jesus, why would he need to, or why would he choose to do what he did? Here's a summary of what the Bible says about, uh, uh, just if you were to take the Bible as a whole and just say, okay, what, what is quick. the Bible really right, about? It, you know, the Bible is a unified story. It starts, you know, Genesis, which means Number beginnings. Eight, right. It goes to Revelation, oh, a peak at what's to occur. God it's not a, a collection That's of like one, stories right? or just moral teachings. The Bible tells us the, the narrative of history, how, how the world began in, in a beautiful and perfect way. And God looked and saw everything he made and he said, okay. it is what? It's good, including you. God, God knew about you from before creation well, I'm fly it now. and he loved you had a purpose for your life, gifts and talents that he's given you, even the experiences you've had that he can weave all of those together and he wants to make a difference I in your I'd life. I think I'd probably jump the gun on that one. And, yeah. and yeah, I don't know. you he can seems to be do life with him. Like yeah. Christianity is not like a series of obligations or, you know, accepting some kind of moral teachings alone or just, you know, jumping through hoops. It's, it's all about a relationship. It's it's a relationship oh, with a God who, the who loves it. you and made you and knows your name. Okay. I'm going to take that down. But things okay. went okay. off the rails. Right. Right. The next, one? next really one's on. the left third. This is slide okay. nine. And I think if we were to, this past uh, week, what happened in Baltimore Fly. is a metaphor yep. of the human condition and what's happened in our world. And there's uh, another one, right? Did you watch right? the video? All right, I'm going to the Here's next the video, one. Yeah. Like I yep. did? Probably four this or five is slide times. 10. And to see that massive ship colliding with the Francis Scott Key Bridge and, and that entire U.S. Interstate Highway Bridge. I've been on it. Maybe you have been too. But, and to watch, and it's a high bridge, and to watch it just in seconds collapse. A bridge that had thousands and thousands of cars going across and, you know, just this beautiful and and useful and and in seconds there's this crushing blow and it's and, and it you wind up with a horrific accident like you see there all right trans yeah. you know i think it's a picture right, of what happened 11, in our relationship with, okay. with god that He's as we said there. he created something beautiful, beautiful and good, good and, and purposeful and and yet in the beginning that that people, Fly. the first humans, turn their backs on God. And ever since then, we've been doing the same. And saying, God, I'll do it my way. Thank you very much. I think I can lead my own life better. Uh, I saw Kanye West this past week, you know, something similar. He said, you know, I've tried God and Jesus, and I think I can do better living life on my own. And a lot of us come to that conclusion, and, and we're in trouble because unless... Unless we find some kind of way for that relationship to be restored, we're forever separated from God. And we're locked into this cycle of just regret right, this is and 13. shame and, and guilt. And, and then not only in our present, but then we have many of us, if we don't,
have an answer for what happens after death. We wonder, like, what actually takes place after you die? The question isn't whether we grapple as a world with guilty consciences, but how? Because no matter our background or reputation, we all carry a measure of guilt over things we've done or left undone, right? You know, I have people that they come into grace and they'll, uh, you know, they'll go, man, I just don't know if I belong there because everybody looks so put together and, and great. And, oh, yeah. and they don't know that we're all like behind our, uh, this exterior. We all look beautiful, fantastic today. Behind all of that, we're a bunch of mess ups, right? Uh, we've got a lot of brokenness. You, you will all look really fine. I, I can see the outside of you, but I can't see inside to your brokenness. And you can see this balding guy up here, uh, and, but you don't see inside of my, but I can tell you there's brokenness in my life. There are regrets that I have. There's things I wish I could have a mulligan. There are things, I, I just go, you know, and I think all of us, we go, why did I say that? Why did I, why did I do that? Or why can't I stop doing this hurtful habit or hang up or whatever? And we, and we deal with guilt. And, and unless somebody comes into our situation, it, and restores what was broken, we live with this giant collapse of the most important relationship we could ever have in life. And that's the answer that, G- that Easter brings. That's the answer that Jesus brings, that he's on a mission to restore and to forgive so that, friends, listen to this, that failure does not have to be fatal and it's not final, right? Where is you up. are not the sum total of your worst mistake. When you can know the forgiveness that Jesus offers and the reality of what resurrection means, it changes your life. Jesus came to give us the gift of forgiveness. I want to talk about that with two pictures. One from the first part of the Bible we call the Old Testament, and the second one from the New Testament, the part that tells us about Jesus coming into our world. And what you're going to see is when we look at the Old Testament, the book of Leviticus, it's a signpost that points forward uh, to the New Testament. We've just, today is the last day of a series through the book of Leviticus. We've been in it for six years. No, I'm just teasing. We haven't. It's just been like six weeks. And if you've read Leviticus, you go like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they look. So Leviticus 16, let's turn to Leviticus 16 here. And uh, we'll see two pictures while you're turning there. Welcome to all of you. Whether you're in the activity center, drinking coffee, uh, or uh, if you're at home, there or you those go. of you, do you know we have two campuses? I'm sorry, two other campuses. Oh. We have Middlebrook Heights, okay. Here's and then the you'll first see one. we have that's our Olmstead Falls campus at 6941 Columbia Road, and then we have a campus with our brothers at Lorraine Correctional. And would you just let them know that they're loved today? And uh, we have <laughs> guys, we. The next or lower thirds. Okay. Whether you're a Lorraine Correctional, you're engaging at home, right, some of you wish you could be okay. uh, in a gathering like this. So and Leviticus just want you to know 16. that today you're loved and you're not, you're not forgotten. Right here in the book of Leviticus, middle of Levit- Leviticus, <clears throat> you see that there's this key sacrifice. And, and it's a day that people would gather and follow this elaborate, series of steps to find forgiveness. It's a feast that's still in a day that's still celebrated today. It's called Yom what? Kippur. It's Yom is day and Kippur is atonement. Atonement means covering. And and let's read verse 15 of Leviticus chapter 16 and see what happens. It says this, he that is the high priest shall then slaughter the goat for the sin offering for the people and take its blood. Already you're going, I am so glad I don't live back then, right? Behind the curtain that's in the tabernacle to the Ark of the Covenant and do with it as he did with the bull's blood, he shall sprinkle it on the atonement cover and in front of it. Leaving it up for a minute. Atonement means a covering. For the people it was a covering for their sin. That was God's plan. The okay. priest never came without blood. Right, this why, is 19. Why, why never without blood? There's something that, that uh, I think in the Bible we see is the penalty for sin. It says the wages of sin is what? You might want us to use is death. Talk for a recording. And death is marked by the shedding of blood. And so our, our 
Our sin deserves the penalty I'm of death. Death is marked by blood. And so when, when you wanted to give, uh, I went up you wanted to soon. make up, you wanted a covering for your sins, you, there needed to be blood that was shed. In fact, in Hebrews chapter 7, it says, without the shedding of what? Blood, there's no forgiveness. And so if you lived in that day, it was the blood of an animal instead of your blood. It was the blood of a goat, the blood of, a, do of a bull, the blood of a, of a lamb. You and, just and spilled so water you, all over you his You did that. So, yeah. And... And Spoiled it was his tie its shirt. blood I can't see it. for yours. Did it that show animal the was a substitute. Oh, no. Poor Jonathan. And, and so God doesn't tell me, he doesn't go, hey, why don't you bring me a little vial of tears or sweat? In other words, it wasn't like how sorry oh. you were for your, the wrong things you did. Like, God, I'm so take it sorry. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't that you had to try to work, you know, work right, it off and, and say, if I can just do enough good stuff that yeah. outweighs the bad stuff. And that, that, it wasn't, you had to bring what? blood blood so one of these goats there's two goats one of these goats was right. sacrificed the next is he's going to read over these next but what happened three to the other slides goat? this is where it gets interesting then it's a left slide okay and the we're, we're going to see how this sacrifice this atonement day was a precursor to what jesus would do L look at verse 16 here in leviticus or in uh, verse 10 in leviticus chapter 16 it says this the other goat, the scapegoat, he goes, is that where that word came from? That's where that word came from. That means, what does scapegoat mean? Someone who takes the fall for someone else's behavior, right? That's what happens here. The scapegoat chosen by Lot to be sent away will be kept alive standing before the Lord. When it is sent away to Azazel in the wilderness, the people will be purified and made right with the Lord. Drop down to verse 21. He will lay both of his hands on the goat's head and confess over it all the wickedness, rebellion, and sins of the people of Israel. In this way, he will transfer, did you say the word transfer? Transfer the people's sins to the head of the goat. Then a man specially chosen for the task will drive the goat into the wilderness. And as the goat goes into the wilderness, it will carry all the people's sins upon itself into a desolate the next one is a left that's third. quite a picture isn't it thank you i have a couple of live goats we're gonna bring. no we, we actually were thinking about that and we decided not to do that i was like hey what do you think all they could think about was goats pooping on the i don't platform, think we were actually thinking about head butting my wife getting out and scaring kids and so we nope, said we won't wasn't. we won't do that but can you have it can you can you picture it in your mind this goat that's being sent out into the wilderness You'll see a picture here of what Slide that looks up. like. Yeah. It didn't actually say sin on it, but that nice goat follow. was, you transferred all of your guilt and regret to this goat, and, and it was a substitute. And you would say as one of the people, you'd go, yes, that's right. for me. The next one is a lower third. I need that substitute. Fly out. Okay. And when you did that, when you said that goat is taking my sin, and it was your substitute, then you could know this. You'll see this again. Slide up. What can you yeah. know for sure? Why? And how far has he removed your sin? But there was a problem. Leaving it up? Yeah. With the I'll old go. way uh, that we saw here, Yom Kippur, you had to Next sacrifice slide. how often? Over and over and over Again, in fact, if nothing had changed, we'd still gather with two goats today. But thank God, what happened back in Leviticus was just a signpost, a shadow of what was to come when there would be a better sacrifice. So how are we forgiven today? If picture number one is the atonement of those two goats, picture number two, well, there's a prophecy about it in the book of Isaiah, 700 years before right, a little baby is born in Bethlehem. And here's what it says in Isaiah chapter 53. All of us, that's us, like sheep have strayed away. We've all left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord did what? Laid on him the sins of us all. Who's that talking about? Jesus. 700 years later, after oh, Isaiah, he says he comes as a Jesus, God himself, keeps that promise, right? He would come as our substitute. Right, and friends... Up. Yep. The life and the death right, and the resurrection 27. of Jesus okay. would rock the world, right? 
absolutely rock the world. He accomplished something amazing. What he did on the cross marked the end of all sacrifices. Why we don't, can you imagine if, you know, today we're coming into church and, and you're packing whoever up in the car and you go, hey, hey, did you remember the goat? Put the goat in the trunk, you know, let's bring the goat here. You're, aren't you glad we don't do that anymore? And, and why don't we do that? Because, because something happened, in fact, in Hebrews chapter 7, it's sort of the twin book in the New Testament to Leviticus in the Old Testament, if you want to look there on your Bible app or on your paper Bible. Uh, Hebrews chapter 7. Why? Here's what we read about Jesus, the new way. It says in verse 27, unlike those other high priests, Jesus does not need to offer sacrifices every day. They did this for their own sins first and then for the sins of the people, but Jesus did this how many times? Once for all. Once for all when he offered himself as a sacrifice for the people's sins. I love that. Two things to highlight. First, what does he offer? He doesn't offer a goat. He offers himself. And then you, you read the words, how many times does he need to do this? It's once for all, right? It's a done deal. It was perfect, complete. Wow. No need to sacrifice ever again. And fly out. Friends, that's the wonder of what All took right, place at very first Easter weekend. Let me put in the words of a university professor who several years ago, searching for spiritual answers, she placed her faith in Jesus Christ. Sort of perplexed her colleagues. They wondered, like, why not Hinduism or Buddhism or, you know, some other one of the world religions, and why Christianity? And she had a great response. She said this. She said, because only in Christianity, namely in Jesus Christ, did I find a person who dealt with the problems of my guilt and my sin. Only in Jesus did I find a person who dealt with the issue of my guilt and my sin. And she's absolutely right that Jesus overcomes the guilt and the sin for every single person who says, yes, I need that for me, and transfers, downloads all of their regret and shame and sin by trusting in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Friends, today, I can tell you for whatever right, shame and regret I have in my life, I stand innocent before God. Not because I've never messed up, not because I don't have regrets, but simply because Jesus was willing to shed his, what? His blood for me. We don't achieve cleanness in God's sight. You'll never work enough to, you receive it. It's a gift. We can't earn it. And that's the gospel, the good news about Jesus. It's stated so clearly in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It's the verse at the top of your notes. It says this. God made Christ, who never sinned, you got that. Yeah. to be the okay. offering for our sin, our atonement, so that we could be made right with God I'm through just gonna Christ. I'm going to leave it up. All right. I'll we could to call it the great talks. exchange, okay. that I oh, give him okay. my this is guilty 32. record. Got it. I'm he with gives you. me his perfect record. I give him all my shame, and he gives to me adoption into his family and a forever home in heaven. I give him all of my F's, spiritually speaking, on my report card, and he gives me all of his what? His A pluses, right? He has a perfect record, and he gives his record to me. Friends, it, it doesn't Why? matter how far you feel from God. It doesn't matter what your religious background is. If you're, all right, this is 33. You know, okay. Jewish or Buddhist or Muslim or no religion at all. That doesn't really matter. God is not interested in religious like just activity he wants what he wants a a relationship with you and with me and so i, I want to ask you today have you made that, that personal have you come to the place in your life where you say jesus i i've got I my own long guilt and shame and, and i know that behind this exterior i've got but jesus i, I transfer in trust all of my sin and my guilt to you, and I want to receive all of your perfect record, and I want you to come into my life. Friends, when Easter counts Bye. for you like that, you know what you can say? What can you know for sure? Okay, we need to do a little bit better than that. <laughs> what can you know for sure? All right, there we go. Nobody wants to talk. Why? And how far has he removed your sin? 
You know where that verse comes from, or that little phrase, Psalm 103. It's I love right. that. It says, right, "How far is he removed? Is He's removed as far as the east is from the west." On your way out today, you're going to receive just a little tangible and reminder of that, of that promise. Fly out, friends. When we ask Jesus for forgiveness, all of our sin and our guilt is transferred in. All right, he this is 35. Our okay. substitute. A number of years ago. Many of you have been to Washington, D.C., and you've seen, like, a lot of the memorials. And one of the really moving ones to me, they're all, they're all like, amazing, but, but I, the Vietnam War Memorial. And, and you know you sort of walk down this, you know, de decline, descent, and, and you see these name after name after name. It was so compelling for people that uh, they came up with a, a replica that was a, maybe, like, you know, half the size and they put it on and they, they carried it around the country and they'd go to different cities and they set this up for people to come and see. In fact, it came to Cleveland a number of years ago. Remember, I think it was in Chicago, they had this uh, news clip of this, uh, you know, all these people coming by to see the wall and they show this guy and he's got his, you know, he's by this place in the wall, he's got his finger by on the wall and he's just tears streaming down. Newscaster comes up and says, hey, can you just tell us what does this mean to you? And through choked up tears, he said, this man, this man gave his life for me. For me, this man gave his life for me. And the tears just began to, or to continue to flow. That someone had sacrificed his life so that he could live. Friends, that's what we commemorate this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. That Jesus Christ, that we can say he gave his life, what? For me. For me, he's my substitute. A and he didn't stay dead. That's the mm. difference, right? Yeah. That three days later, as someone texted my wife this morning and said, he got up, right? Mm -hmm. Can you say it? He got up. He got up. He, got up. <laughs> he is risen. He is risen. So let me ask you one more time. Has that become personal in your life? Fly. Yeah. Can you be able to, can you say right, today, the next I know one's that a left third. I doubt it. I've failed, okay. but no failure in my life is fatal and it's not final. I'm not defined mm. by the worst thing I've done in my life because Jesus Christ has covered my sin. Fly out. He's taken it away. How far? Okay. As far as... All right, there's... The east Slide is 36. from the west. Thank you. You might still go, I, I don't know, John. I've got questions. I've got doubts. I want to just remind you again, we have a new series Bye. beginning next week called I Doubt It, answering some of the questions or delving into the questions, exploring the ones you see there on the screen, and just saying, how can we overcome some of these hurdles to our faith? And, and you might go, do you ever deal with doubt? I said before, yeah, even as a pastor, there are things I just wonder about in this world. But I'm grateful that you can believe and still right, have doubt. Next is 37, Today you can put third. your trust in Christ and say, Jesus, I want you to be the substitute for, for what I've done wrong. I, I want to put my faith in you. So you, you, you say like they did in the, in the, you know, back with the goats when they said, yes, he did that for me. I, I'm saying yes to that substitute that you and I say as we look at Jesus we say I say yes to him that I want him to be the substitute for my sin there's no other way I'll be acceptable to a holy God you'll never be sorry enough you'll never work hard enough for your good to outweigh your bad you'll, that's not that you can't get to heaven that way the only way is for the shedding of someone's what blood shed for you a perfect sacrifice his blood you, for yours and that's what jesus came to do and he proved how effective it was by coming back from death i'm going to invite you to pray with me uh here you're going to see the prayer written out in your notes oh, okay skip this uh, one the ones you got on the way in or those okay. of you engaging online uh, message notes at gracecma.org. I think he's going to go 38, If this 39. is your first time praying a prayer like this, it, it doesn't, you might go, I've got so many regrets. I've been so far from yeah, God. Yeah, he's going to go to 38, You're exactly sure. the kind of person yeah, he goes, 38. welcome home. I'm so glad to have you in my family. 
And maybe you've prayed something like this before. You've opened up your heart to Jesus. You've said yes to him. I'm going to invite you just to pray along with all of us to say, we're going to affirm our faith together. That when we trust in Jesus, we're forgiven and free forever. Let me just clarify something here. Uh, when, when you invite Jesus Christ Go to back. come into your life, Whoa. it means this. Wait. It means you hand the controls Is of your life over one? to him. 30. I'm not sure. You say, he's Jesus, go to I'm done living my way, and I want to live your way. Let's see what he does. I'm Let's asking you to come into my life not only to forgive again. me, Let's be ready. but to lead me, to yeah, be the king be and the Lord of my the life. Next one. And I can just tell you my own experience has been there is no better way to live than to get up in the morning to go, I'm on mission with the very God of the universe, and he loves me, he wants to strengthen me, he can heal me, he can walk, he's going to take me to heaven one day. I am never, ever alone. Oh, I, I joyfully surrender my life to him. Prayer. Yeah, sounds like it. If you're ready to do that, um, yeah. I, I, I'm going to invite you to say this prayer with me. You'll see it. Uh, on the screen as well there. And I'm going to invite you, would you stand okay. with me? And, and I'll ask all of us if just to say this prayer together. Believing that Jesus is prayer, right here. He sees sides. us. He hears us. He knows you by name. And, after and if this, you're calling out to him for the first time, he's, he's going to welcome you. But he only did family. two left thirds. There's, there's okay? two lower Let's thirds than three left thirds. Lord yeah. Jesus, you are the living God. I understand that my sin deserves judgment. Thank you for loving me enough to take that judgment, your blood given for me. Thank you for providing a way for me to be kept safe when you will judge all evil. In faith, I trust you and your sacrifice as payment for my sin. Help me to turn away from anything that dishonors you and to follow you with all my heart. I want you to be first in my life to lead me each day. My life is yours. Help me to know you better. Jesus, I just want to thank you today All that right. you keep that promise. Okay. You so come, now I, did you he, forgive us. I changed and this then to the order he did it last time. To yes. give us the so hopefully and the power that's what to he's going to do. Kind of and he didn't do the alpha side. You call us to live yeah. and that we get to live and do life with you. Jesus, thank like you for anyways. every person right. he already talked who's about opened it so up long their like heart opening. to you. Yeah. Thank you that you're going to walk with us, that we can know you. Lord, open up your word to us. May we understand it. May it be a light for our path. And I pray that you would just help us to know you better on this journey. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Everyone said. Amen. Hey, two things, and then we're going to sing two songs together. First of all, uh, we have a 21-day guide that looks like that right there. Easiest way, just go in your notes. It says, uh, I said yes. And just click that little link there, and they'll send you that 21-day guide. It's free. And it's just how do you have a relationship with Jesus? That 21-day guide is going to help you get there. If you're like, I'm not into doing stuff digitally, we have some paper copies for you in the lobby. We were thinking about you. Secondly, <laughs> we said we're going to give you something tangible magnet. on your way out. And it's this right here. It's called I Am Forgiven. It's a magnet. You can put it you know, on your fridge or something like that. If today Alpha. was the day you sort of said... I, I asked Christ she to come into my life. Things. Like today was my yeah, day. Yeah, I don't think he's then going to. Then I encourage to. you, yeah. take a Sharpie and put 331.24 on here and, and put it as a reminder of the day that you All said, right, Jesus so is the substitute he who's given his right life there, for me. So. And, uh, and, and just make this a, a, a commemoration of what he's done. But whoever, we, we have one of these for every single person here, and so the ushers will have one for you on the way out. Uh, team, thanks for leading us today. Okay. Let's Stand declare again that our, our trust and our hope are living to get those. Yeah. Yeah. Solving to seven. Seven All is right. live. Keys are up. Okay, we got two songs. Good job. His tie dried. It, did. it dried very quickly. One was filled with his praise and dissolved. One day when sin I thought the same thing, and <laughs> I was looking for Jelani. Forgot we have two songs. Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin, dwelt among men by example is he. 22, is all. flesh and light shined among us, his glory revealed. Living 37, take. Save me, buried he carried my sins far away. So 
I figured out why it always seems so loud is because that feeds into this, and then it's like feeding it double into our ears and that. I just, I just thought about it. I was like, ready for take six, take seven, not seven, five. Ready one, take. Take. Ooh, restart that three. Well, I just did a zigzag like across the entire place, so let me restart. Gotcha. Um, do a pan. Oh, right there, perfect. Yes, pretty three take. Pretty six take. Come to seven take. Four is live. Coming to seven. Coming to one. Take. Ready, six. Take. Five. Ooh, ready, one. Ready, two. Take. Ready, one. Take. Robin starts there. <laughs> I don't think I did. They do that last time, but they didn't do it last time. I don't time. remember that. No. I think because Jelani's neck may be hurting. Mm. Ready for take. We'll have to know next service. Because that's Ready not her to range. Take. Right. Ready one. Ready four. Take. I like it. Yeah. I was having a hard time earlier. Love that. Ready three, take. Go ball, go ball. Nice. Ready four, take. They made it look like the jungle behind there <laughs> with those colors. The horizon really. Ready seven. Take. I think that was the goal, maybe. Ready two. Ready one actually. Take. Five. Take. Six is live. Ready one. Ready two. Take. Yeah, keep coming out. Okay, five slides. Ready one dissolve. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Ready, seven. Resolving the seven. He justified freely forever. One day he's coming. Oh, glorious day. Oh, glorious day. Ready, four. Dissolving to four. Jelani leads the next song. Dissolve one. One is live. Gonna come to six. Get instruments. Your, um, Take. Yeah. Five. Nice. Could be something different too. Going to three. Take. Ready one. Take. In the blood, future grace is mine today. When Jesus Christ has won, so I can face the high king. Ready for? Ah, uh, ready to take. Yes, love that. Ready for? Take. This exit sign is We're gonna go to seven. Not my jam. Yeah, it's that one, and there's one on house left as well. Ready four. Take. Nice. 
Love that. Ooh, ready to dissolve into two. Keep coming out. Yeah. Woo. Come on. Ready for? Take. Alright, we're about to go to instruments. I'm gonna go to six. Take. So I'm gonna get uh, Sam Acoustic. Yeah. Already right, four. Take. Five is live. Ready four. Ready one. Take. A wandering dress. All right, we're gonna cut out. Ready to take right to Jelani. Come on, raise up your voice, yeah. Speeds are great today. Yeah. Fix my eyes on you. We're gonna build back up. Six. Woo. Five. Two. Two is live. Nice, three. Already oh, one. Take. Coming to seven. Oh, the lights are looking good. Take. Ready, four. Take. I'm coming to three next. Ready, two. Take. Coming to three. Keep going. Ready, three. Take. Ready, four. Take. Forty-two, take. Yeah, we serve a Jesus that is full take. of victory in His name. Bless the name of our Lord. Save Six. You in victor, One. I know how the story ends. I love this declaration. Two. Yeah. One. We will be with. You. Ready, seven. Coming back hey. to one. Seven. Ready, one. Ready, four. Take. Going to two. This is our truth. Take. This is what we Come back on. to four. No Take. Four is live. Ready, three. Take. Oh. Heck yeah. Ready, two. Take. Ready, six. Take. Go to four. Take. Woo. Ready, two. Take. Did it great. Ready, three, take. Ready, one, take. We're going to build up. Yes, yes, yes. Coming. The break is coming up soon. Six, one, take. Ready, three, start your move, take. Oh, sorry. Caught you a little bit. Ready, four, take. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Still there. Six. Woo. Ready to take. He's going off. That room better be bouncing. Take. Ready four. What do you want? Take. Here comes seven. Take. Yes. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Ready Very two. Cool. Take. Very cool. Four. Take. That's nice. Yay. Slowly zoom in, Danny. Ready two. Take. Robin is living her best life up yeah. there. She's like, I love jumping. <laughs> Ready, one, take. Ready, three, take. Yes, four slides, thank you. Ready, four, take. Ready, seven, take. The energy is palpable. Ready, six, take. Ready, five, take. Ready, two. Two slides. Take. Right. Ready, four. Take. Four is live. I'm gonna need one soon. Ready, one. Take. Instruments, instruments. Ready, six. Take. Am I free? Yeah, you can have one. Thank you. Five. Right, and you're gonna be looking for Jonathan and Mary on one. Four. Take. Two. Beautiful. Take. Six. Yeah. Coming out to seven. All right, looking for Jonathan and Mary. Seven's live. Amen. I just would love to hear 
the body of Christ. How about Danny, get him. And Anne, you get Jonathan and Mary. Sometimes it's good to hear your brothers and sisters. Amen. After whatever you've come in with. Yeah. Make a declaration out loud and tell the devil in his face, not today. Yep. Amen. So let's sing that together. I'm oh. fighting a battle. Ready, seven, take. I guess we're tagging it. <laughs> no matter what. Woo. This is your story. Ready, four. Ready, four, dissolve. Yes. Coming back to seven. Ready, three. Take. Coming back to seven take. All right, now we'll look for Jonathan and Mary. How about I change one? And dissolve. All the people do lighting and platform. I, I love how that, the light, yeah, from out of there. Beautiful. <laughs> Comes out of there. What a savior we have. Wow. If you would like to pray with someone, our prayer team will be up here after the service coming up. A couple things in the lobby, a photo op out there. The alpha people are out there. And don't forget to get your magnet on the way out. Yes. Take the most important down, decision Mr. you'll ever make Thank in you, life. Thank you, sir. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and tie it on. I'm going to sit here. Okay. How you respond <laughs> to Jesus Christ. Stand Whether you did that today or loop. you're like I'm contemplating, there's a promise that he makes through the Apostle Paul that says this. Paul says, I am confident of this, that he who began a good work in you, he began it. Maybe today was the day. Did he change his tire already? Until the day <laughs> that you see whom? Jesus no way, that's got to be the same one. Yeah, it looks lighter I, all I wouldn't be surprised if he did, there. though, because he has a whole Love you, Grace family. closet. Happy Easter. He is risen. <laughs> Stand by. He's risen indeed. Happy Easter. Go ahead. Right, fire. Firing the loop. Woo! Glory to Jesus. Come on. Yeah, yeah. The that was a great service. So good. Wow. Wow.